now hear a harpsichord. Here is the irritating harpsichord on its own. That sounds so thin. Uh, and then with auto mute, the magic of auto mute. Sounds like they basically have two different envelope settings uh, that they're applying to these different sounds, and they've selected which envelope setting is going to go to which. That's another thing. Since this is paraphonic, you can actually do things like this. So it's, re, uh, it's restarting the envelope, which is restarting the filter with each uh, key depression. Which sounds pretty cool. Now we get to banjo. Here's banjo without. So that is a really cool sound, and obviously uh, forcing the paraphonic thing to happen actually makes a cool result. Uh, so those are our auto mute sounds. Um, let's do an experiment here. I'm not sure what will happen. Uh, I think actually it'll work. So we have ASR. I'm going to go to Foxtrot, which is accordion flute. Uh, so let's see if we can engage the auto mute, even though accordion flute has the flute in it, which is not affected by the filter. But let's see what happens. We got a very decent sound. Let's... Uh, Let's hear what swing sounds like. Oh, that's very different. Uh, that's a, a different and uh, that's a different sort of sound than we've heard so far. Let's hear what uh, Dixieland sounds like. Just kind of the trumpet sound. Let's hear what ragtime, rinky tink piano. That sounds like an inverted envelope. So yeah, we're getting full on synthesizer sounds here. These are like totally once you put that filter on there, these synthesizer timbres suddenly become synthesizer sounds, you know? Uh, let's see. Country is the guitar. Not bad. Ho down is banjo. And uh, you, you can play that envelope, uh, play through it. As you can tell, like with the shorter notes that I was playing, uh, the envelope didn't open the filter very much. And then the more, the longer I held it, then we got more of a um, envelope opening sound, which um, is more expressive. So that's cool. 
Um, where are we at here? Let's go to Pop Rock. I'm excited to hear what happens there. Pop Rock, which is the electric piano sound. Not bad. Actually kind of cooler without the filter, if you ask me. And now, Soul Rock's mod electric sound. It seems like there's three different envelope settings. There's kind of a uh, inverted one, a short one, and a long one. Pretty cool. Hawaiian. Uh, that was Hawaiian guitar. I don't know what settings those are. Latin three. That's that really long envelope. Rumba, the piano flute combination. Bossa Nova, which is a vibra harp. Okay, so like it specifically says in the manual that the auto mute doesn't work with vibra harp, but on bossa nova, vibra harp is the sound. And listen, so that's a lie. Uh, we've already heard accordion for polka. We've already heard trumpet for march. Sounds very much like the other things. Yeah, it's just a, these are limited pre-made envelopes, preset envelopes. So what about that waltz? Wait, old time waltz was the piano. It's that sort of inverted envelope. Waltz is that, that weird harpsichord. useful and what happens with this organ <laughs> nothing okay uh, <laughs> so those are well okay also now I don't know what's gonna happen let's be uh, be ready for anything so if we have <laughs> did you just hear a drum sound I heard a drum sound <laughs> what happens to the ASR settings with auto mute on when you select multiple rhythms The cool thing that is happening here is it you get the, the wah of the filter, and then when you let go, because of the vibra harp, I think, you actually hear the, or one of the envelope settings, you actually hear the filter close. So that's really cool. Anyway, uh, that is the ASR and the auto mute used in tandem on the Baldwin Fun Machine. <laughs>